using Facebook ads can be highly effective. A lot of people, however, don't know exactly how to use them in the correct manner. Many of us can get started without a prior experience. So basically, there are two ways how you can get started. The first way, you can simply visit the Facebook website or the app and then click on the post that you want to boost then select the target audience thirdly enter the amount you want to use the ads for and finally click on start this may not be the most wonderful process or the best optimized process to run your ads because in this process you won't be able to select the exact target audience or it may not help you to give conversions or it may not even reach to the right audience so hence restaurant agencies just like us prefer using facebook ads manager to run their day-to-day -day advertising activities in this video we'll be seeing the step-by-step -step process how you can run your own facebook ads using facebook ads manager and what are the important steps to consider before getting started so let's begin Step one, prepare a job plan. A lot of people who have just got started in the industry does not have a clue on how advertising works. They don't know whom are they reaching out or who are their customers or what kind of budget do I need to reach them. So uh, it becomes very difficult for a newbie, uh, like a lot of people are in the industry to exactly use the data to reach the right audience for the brand so here we just trying to write down or chalk down the kind of uh, the audience that they are trying to reach the kind of budget that they need to reach them out or the kind of uh, terms or get familiar with them such as the cost per lead or the cost per click so that they can use that data to effectively run their ads for you guys, I have attached the job plan in the description sheet and also I have attached the budget so that you can track down the kind of amount of money you need for running the ads and the kind of leads that you'll be expecting on running these ads and the kind of uh, return of investment you will be getting after the uh, completion of the Facebook ads. All of this can be found in the description box, so you can visit the description section right after the video ends. Step 3 is the rapid fire test. Now in this test, we'll be exploring the basic three tiers of testing to find out what works best for your brand. Number one is the audience. Now make sure when you're selecting the audience, make sure you know who are your customers and then specify them in the Facebook Ads Manager in terms of age, uh, the kind of business they are in or the kind of uh, sex they belong. So all these data will give you a refined uh, data that tells you what exactly works best for your brand. Now secondly, select the offers that works best for your brand. Uh, you can use varieties of hooks or offers that uh, gives you understanding of what works best for your audience and what kind of offers will fetch me more uh, leads or sales. And thirdly, select the kind of creative that works best for your brand. You can do this by uh, searching what kind of ad formats bring best results such as some people, some brands have more uh, sales through their stories or they use video formats to get more sales. Or you can also go for a single image or the carousel that depends upon the what works best for your brand. You can also test down the varieties of pictures or the ambience to bring in more flavors into the creative and see what still works for the brand. Step four keep innovating a lot of people forget that innovations is in the heart of advertising now to be successful on advertising world you have to innovate and you have to innovate it very fast rapidly to adopt the change in the market now you can do this by uh, simply 
capturing on the moment marketing or you can uh, work on the seasonal calendar way beforehand the thing arrives such as the Valentine's week or the Christmas or the new year and mark them as a uh, marketing uh, goal to capture more and more number of people for your brand or restaurant in this video now we'll be exploring how you can create a Facebook ads using Facebook ads manager and I'll be showing you step-by-step -step process how you can create your first ad so step number one log into the Facebook ads manager then select campaign tab and then you'll be prompted on the marketing objective select the marketing objective it is divided into three sections the first is awareness the consideration and then conversion so select the marketing objective depending upon the goals that you have set for your campaign there are basically three types of objectives for a restaurant number one reach second is the traffic and third one is the engagement step two select the name of the campaign you can keep it as simple as a restaurant name or, or a particular season that you're marketing it for you can keep that name and anything that you feel that is related to the campaign select that as the campaign name step three you will be prompted by another message that says ad set name so in this just make sure what kind of ad set you're running maybe it's for a reach maybe it's for a traffic may it be a uh, uh, for a message or, or engagement whatever it is just mention it here along with a date if that you can do because there'll be multiple ad sets once you start ding it more and more so it's best suggested to keep the ad set name as close to the campaign and also put the dates for for the ad set name step four if you have selected the traffic option it should prompt you where you want traffic to go be it on a website be it on a whatsapp be it on your messages or app whatever it is so make sure you select the right traffic for your <clears throat> restaurant step four turn on the budget optimization now in this scene you will be prompted by a message that tells you the kind of budget you want to allocate maybe it can be a lifetime budget maybe it is a daily budget whatever it is just select that and enter the amount of money you want to spend on the campaign or the ad set uh, secondly you will also be prompted by your start date and the end date uh, you can keep the end date open if you want or you can make it run if you have selected the lifetime budget you can always skip the end date and always just click on the start date so that your ad runs on that particular time step 5 select the audience a lot of people think that audience doesn't matter because in the end they'll be specifying the location and that's it but in the long run if you see not knowing your audience can make a big loss for the campaign because you are not targeting a specific audience or if the campaign is built in such a way that it targets a particular audience and you're not doing that then you are losing money in the end of the day so make sure you select the right kind of audience and lastly select the location at which you are trying to run the Facebook ads Facebook gives you the flexibility to pinpoint the locations using the pin codes even or using a particular range of uh, radius you want to spread your ads to so use this feature to your maximum benefit and run your ads on this particular parameters step 5 select the ad placement a lot of people might be tempted to use the automatic placements because it just automatically gives you the best results but uh, for us as a restaurant agency we prefer using the manual placements because this gives us flexibility where we want to showcase our ads now a lot of sections in Facebook ads does not guarantee a lot of results maybe it is a marketplace maybe it is for the news feeds or maybe it's in the stories so make sure you select the right kind of placement before you run your ad step six is the cost control now this is a quick tip for everyone who has been watching this video i have listed down the average value of each section of uh, most important metrics and you can use this amount to bid in the cost control section uh, for example when we talk about page likes uh, it costs you around two to five rupees or when you talk about click on your whatsapp it costs around 10 to 30 rupees 
and for impressions it can be anywhere between uh, 10 rupees to 15 rupees for a thousand key uh, or one key impressions you can similarly get the engagement at 0.01 to 0.10 each engagement that you run step 7 now you'll be prompted with a new uh, option that is the ad name this is a particular section where your ads will be running so name it accordingly uh, you select the Facebook page you are running it for if you have multiple pages select the restaurant page that you are handling and then you go to the formats that works best for your brand select the format uh, it can be the carousel it can be the single image or the video it can be a group whatever it is select that and add the creatives on that particular section step 8 is the text and the objective specs for the Facebook ads now in this try to select the kind of uh, headlines you want to use for the ads the text that goes with the creative and a little bit of link uh, if you have any so that customers can click on the link and go to the redirected website such as your dot pay website or your whatsapp business so use this feature a very uh, better way so that it gives you maximum maximum results uh, step eight is to select the text and the campaign objectives for for the facebook ads now in this select the uh, the text that you want to go with the creative uh, use creative headlines to attract attention and also attach links to websites or buttons if you have any uh, such as the dot pay or the whatsapp business so that customers can click on the ad and simply order from your restaurant and finally you can use offline events to track the kind of customers that are going to the websites uh, for this facebook uses the facebook pixels feature which tracks down the uh, the customer activity in the links that you have provided you can use this feature uh, to retarget your customers who just have visited your website they can see your ad on Facebook and then uh, gets reminded to come back to the website again and make the purchase so this feature is very highly effective if you're using with a website um, try using a dot pay website if that helps to get started and I'm sure this feature is absolutely must for each and every brand that's about it guys i hope this helps you to create your facebook ads for your restaurants using facebook ads manager and if you face any difficulty you can always come down in the comment section and leave the message below we'll be more than happy to help you about this and if you want to reach us directly you can reach us on the email that i have provided in the description that's it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.